welcome back. We've just had our uh, another editorial meeting discussing the second draft of uh, the cut. And um, well, I hand over to Anthony first. Okay, thanks. Um, so we discussed the thirty thousand words that I've got written at the moment. Um, I'm hesitant to call it a draft of the novel uh, because really what we've what we've talked about is the way that I've kind of written around our two main characters and um, with Micah's help today in the editorial meeting we've talked about really concentrating on those two characters specifically so Cairo and Grace who are very much the central characters in what I've written so far but the emphasis and the focus needs to be very much on them um, got a lot of background material at the moment both in the setting and with minor characters who um, who have developed quite well but, but with the form that we're writing in in a short novel 30,000 words or so we talked about the, the, the need for it being very direct with the two characters so so we've got a plan for the next month or so with the writing which um, I think we're both really pleased about and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to write specifically about Cairo and Grace together in the next month. Yeah, it, it was a very interesting uh, meeting. It was an interesting second draft as well because I think uh, Anthony has made huge uh, progress um, with, with uh, also with both characters and perhaps I should have because I'm very conscious last time when we uh, talked about our editorial meeting is that we uh, talk very much about the uh, creative process of writing, but we haven't, uh, last we didn't even mention once what the book is about. <laughs> so this book is trying to respond with fiction um, to the situation that became clear uh, with the EU referendum uh, vote for Brexit. It's not going to um, discuss Brexit as such, but it's trying to tap into um, the emotions, the underlying emotions, exactly what what ha what happened, how how come that suddenly the world, so to speak, has woken up to the fact that we are um, a divided country, and uh, so the two main characters, uh, Cairo is um, from Dudley, uh, very much working class and uh, zero hour contract, uh, life for him has been a struggle. Uh, and then Grace uh, comes from London uh, in the media world, a very, you know, solid middle class. Life has gone well for her. And those two characters um, meet and um, have a relationship. <laughs> and this is very exciting because um, it's, it's not, yeah, uh, this is tapping into something, trying to, pitch these two characters who are unlikely to necessarily meet in real life but pitch them against each other and see what emotionally happens and comes up so I'm very excited about that that's great I mean and yeah they've got they've they've probably got more in common <laughs> you know than you, than you than you might think in the way that you know relationships work uh, and that's sort of part of the story but also as Mike has said, some of the underlying emotions and um, experiences that sort of connect with the country we're in, um, maybe say something about that, but they're kind of very specific to to the two characters as, as individuals. That's hopefully how it's, how it's going to work. Um, but like we've said, I'm going to concentrate a lot in the next month in terms of their interaction and, and what happens with, with, you know, between between the two of them, really. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading the next draft. And uh, we'll be back in about a month's time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Bye. you.